March 2024 astrology unlocking your fate. This forecast is for the March eclipse information and more for the rest of the month. We are closing out 2024's first period of this open and free period with personal planet retrogrades where you can plan, you can create, you can manifest, you can launch things. We are also in the shadow of eclipse season. This is a time where we're traversing back and forth between the me and the we sectors of your chart uh, between Aries and Libra. We're starting the month off strong with Aquarius energies that encourage um, all types of humanitarian efforts, internet-based connections, projects. I want you to be thinking about like new technology, AI, science, uh, futuristic uh, inventions, and Pisces energy. This is also a strong force of energy because there are so many personal planets here. So you're going to be feeling the other energy of other people. It's like feeling other people's feels. And we will all have this high emotion Emotion, this compassion and this intuition at this time period. Hi, I'm your astrologer Patricia Tate and this is your March 2024 monthly astrology forecast. To get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe. Now let's dive in. So for Cancer Sun and Cancer Rising, I want to start off with letting you know about the Aquarius energy is prevalent with uh, your eighth house of your shared resources. It's the house of deep bonding. It's the house of where you have these joint ventures and that includes alimony, child support, debt, taxes. All of these topics are going to be um, overflowing at the beginning of the month. And also I'm calling it a Pisces puddle of your ninth house because we have all of these planets here that uh, Pisces is watery and intuitive and psychic and it's dreamy in I want to go there I want to connect up with that person I want to have these cross-cultural experiences I want to take that class I want to take that workshop I want to dive into that spirituality I want to publish something uh, it could have to do with legal matters um, that's where your Pisces energy is it's connecting with people far and wide and having these beautiful cross-cultural experiences. All right, so as we move forward, the first date that I want to bring here to your attention is March 9th. We're going to have Mars square Uranus. Now, Mars. Mars is fiery, passionate, and Uranus is shock and surprise. And so this is a lot of energy. A square is a 90 degree angle. It's where two planets come at each other with different elements, different energy. Um, Mars is in an air sign and Aquarius is in an earth sign. So this is about a, a very difficult combination because Uranus is very unpredictable. Um, this could be rebellion. This could be sudden and erratic decisions with groups or networks that you belong to. Um, Mars being in your eighth house of your shared resources. This has you focused on all types of resources that you share with. Um, this could be parents and siblings if there's like house or money or debt or wills. This could be exes with alimony, child support. This could be business partner or significant other with any types of shared resources. This is the house of, of birth, death, rebirth, and the transformation of. Now, Uranus being in your 11th house is, these are my hopes, these are my wishes, these are my dreams, my goals, places that I wanna go, go to, things that I wanna do, and who do I align myself up with? And so these two areas of your life are literally at a crossroads. And so this is you making sudden erratic decisions, um, burning major bridges, um, saying or doing something that later on you could regret. I say this because everybody's going to have this square. Everybody's going to feel this energy. You're feeling it specifically in this area of your life and it's you feeling like you're not being heard, that your voice is not being taken into consideration. Um, there could be um, a lot of impatience. You could feel irritable. Um, this could lead to unexpected fights and arguments at this time. Now, something else to look at is Mercury enters into the sign of Aries. Mercury is in your ninth house, but is going to move into the sign of Aries of your job, your career, your legacy, authority figures, um, a boss. Uh, the tenth house is you, uh, it's your public reputation where you want to make your mark on society. And so something about this has Mercury, the way you communicate, your thoughts, your ideas, what you say, how you say it, and 
you you're going to find out that your communication is going to quicken aries is fiery it's passionate it's going after something quickly and maybe you're expressing yourself with fire passion and you're going to want to take action on these ideas right away you're going to want to take the lead take the initiative and you're going to feel good about it. You're going to feel like you are justified in what you are doing. And there could be something that has to do with an authority figure or somebody that you share these resources with. And it has something to do with people that you network or something that has to do with your goals, your aspirations, or your hopes or your dreams of what you want to do. All of this together is forming a square in order for you to work out this energy. All right. So Cancer, on that day, use caution. All right, so then I want to move forward to March 10th. On, on March 10th, we are going to have this beautiful new moon in the intuitive, watery, dreamy sign of Pisces. I love this. Um, new moons are fresh starts, clean slates, new beginnings. So you have this new opportunity to travel, to publish work, to take a class, to dive into spirituality, to have these beautiful cross-cultural experiences, to find love with somebody who is foreign, to pursue these spiritual pursuits that are more um, in line with your heart and your soul and your purpose, to explore these creative pursuits that that will allow you to tap into your intuitive side. All right, then as we move forward to the 11th, we have Venus entering into the sign of Pisces, joining all of that watery stuff. I love this. Look, Venus loves to be here. Venus wants to bring people, places, and things together. Venus's goal is to unite, and it's about love. And so uniting... Um, with love and relationships, feeling dreamy, feeling romantic, coming from a heart-spaced energy. Um, maybe you're desiring more of a spiritual connection with people. This could be maybe you are looking into love with somebody that you've met from farther away, um, being more gentle, being more compassionate with yourself and with others in your daily actions. Venus in your ninth house is also about you tapping into your prophetic dreams and you wanting to say, I want to feel a connection I might have to go there in order to experience it. I want to like live in that area. I want to travel in that area. I cannot not. I need to publish that work. Um, something that uh, if it's legal matters, it'll be something that you are extremely passionate about. All right. Then as we move forward to March 19th, on March 19th, we have the sun moving into the sign of Aries. This is the happy astrological New Year's. I love this for you because it's at the top of your chart. The sun coming to um, the top of your chart is, is focusing on everything that has to do with your career, your legacy, your uh, public reputation. It's your, your what you want to be known for, what you want to do, your public life, your life path, your honors, awards, Aries, it wants to initiate. And so this can be a time where you're going to have this new energy, uh, new drive, new passion, new excitement saying, I am now fired up. I now know what I want to focus on for my job or for what I, the legacy that I want to leave behind or how I want to be known for the, uh, re, the awards or rewards that I want to or feel that I deserve, taking the lead and pushing forward with those things. Then on March 22nd, on March 22nd, we are going to have Mars entering into the sign of Pisces. Now Mars is fire and Pisces is water. Mars being passionate, fiery, wanting to initiate, and Pisces is redirecting that energy and saying, I want you to direct it inward and outward to bring people together. Think of one world, one nation, feeling connected to your dreams, your intuition, and wanting to have these, these cross-cultural experiences with foreign people, places, things. 
wanting to take the initiative and say, I'm going to take that class. I'm going to take that workshop. I'm going to do the, the, take the dive into um, that class on a different religion or a different spirituality. I want to understand it and I want to go there. I want to experience it firsthand. That's what Mars moving into Pisces can offer you. And then on March 25th, we are going to have our first lunar eclipse of this year. Now, remember that eclipses, they um, bring hard and fast, quick paced changes. Um, a lunar eclipse il is illuminating, the sun illuminates an area of your life where there needs to be some kind of closure, some kind of ending. Now, since the sun, for you cancer is focused on your your job your career how people can see you there's going to be some kind of an ending a culmination a closure in the area of relationships that has to do with your home this could be a child moving out you moving out oftentimes the eclipses in the fourth house can be eclipsing people places and things out of that location and this is out of the home so maybe um, a parent has moved out or um, a child has moved out or you are going to sell this home this is going to be uh, a feeling giving you fullness of fruition. They're always surrounded with drama and um, there's, you know, it's like big endings and then exciting new beginnings after we get past the initial um, take your breath away. It's about hallmark energy offering you mm, an ending that uh, with balance Libra is the scales of the me and we and separating who you are in connection to family. Remember that the fourth house is uh, your ancestors, your foundation. It's also real estate and property and tradition. And so this could be an ending to a tradition or an ending to selling off property, selling off real estate, or an ending to um, understanding where your ancestral lineage came from. Like, aha, we finally have the answer. Uh, that'll bring you great closure. All right, so Cancer, I would love to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below. Please join me live on Tuesdays where I can offer full moon and new moon astrology consultations. For private consultation, you can schedule that at willowgracemystic.com. And to get updates as soon as they're released, please subscribe.